We're almost a year into this. You're on Zoom call. The, your child's learning math. They're yelling for you for help from the other room. And it's playing out in many households, leading to frustration and nitpicking. As News Channel 9's Nicole Somavilla learned, a disturbing trend parents need to watch out for. It's causing a lot of pressure on them. It's not just isolation. Liverpool doctor Robert Draker says work and school from home are changing relationships between parents and children stuck together for far longer than ever before. Parents are under a lot of pressure and I think they may not always be as tolerant of a child's behavior. And so it ends up being somewhat antagonistic. Leading to arguments, pent up anger and the way it's being released is alarming. The way children emotionally bail out is by saying, I want to hurt myself or I want to hurt someone else. Some of Draker's patients are talking about self-harm younger, but among adolescents is a spike in people actually following through. I've seen a dramatic increase in cutting, and that's real. I mean, uh, this past week I've had four admissions for suicidal ideations in, in uh, you know, young children. The problem is an entire family unit is adapting to a massive change in lifestyle. It's not easy and neither is the solution. There's not one recipe you can use for every family. You need to understand that each of you have your own needs and you need to express that to each other. Communication is critical and so is being sensitive to one another's pain. I think people just need to focus on their relationships and try to maintain uh, their relationships with their friends and family as much as they can. Looking out for your loved ones and keeping your family unit strong. Nicole Somavilla, News Channel 9. And Dr. Draker also encourages parents to give their kids love, let them know that you're there for them. But he also says it's important to find a balance and also give them a little bit of space.